What's going on folks? Today I'm going to show you how to set up scale lock functionality within the Studio One and by that I mean the ability to use your uh, computer keyboard or MIDI keyboard and lock it to a certain scale. All right now uh, say for instance I wanted to play the F minor scale but I'm not that great on the piano so I want to do that only playing the white keys on the piano. Um, to the best of my knowledge, this functionality is not natively built into Studio One. Now, of course, you can achieve that using the, the Atom SQ or a MIDI keyboard that might already have this functionality, like Native Instruments keyboards, or you might use Scalar, which is a third-party VST, or Native Instruments Complete Control for this. But I feel you should be able to do this using stock plugins, so I, I thought long and hard about it. and. I'm going to show you a way to achieve this using the quarter, okay, which is this here, which is a, a, a note effects device built into Studio One. Now, some of you might be saying, well, have you got scale lock functionality built in to the piano roll? Yes, you do, okay, which is, which is really cool when you're clicking in notes, you know. So I've got right now it locked to A natural minor, okay. And I cannot click the black notes because it's locked to only white notes, as you can see by these, these blue markers here on the white keys. So that's great when you're clicking in notes, but this does not prevent me from playing or recording black notes. Okay, and as you can see, I can trigger the black notes here, even though this is supposedly, this is locked you know, to just the white notes. So, uh, I'm going to show you a way to uh, have it so that these black notes would not be triggered at all, okay? And we're going to do that using the quarter, and uh, let's get into it. Okay, guys, first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to grab the quarter here, and we're going to drag that over to a track. I've got a piano on this track already, and this is your default setup for quarter, and it's normally set up for chords, right? Obviously, from the title of the plug-in so we're gonna set it up a different way we're gonna play scales instead of chords really simple um, and easy to do actually so first things first we will get rid of the autofill we don't need that we're gonna turn on learn mode and we're gonna clear out everything to kind of get a clean slate here when you click on one of these notes it's basically telling quarter that hey when I click on C for example then I want it to play whatever note I want to play so in this case when I click on C I'm and I click on C back here I'm telling quarter when I hit C play C when I hit D play D doesn't have to be like that though I can say you know when I hit E uh, hit E f play E flat instead so you can tell quarter to to actually play whatever note you want to trigger whatever note you want all right so in this case we're going to set it so that it plays the c major scale so and it doesn't i, I don't want it to trigger the black notes all right so all right so we're going to do just one octave here for simplicity's sake and then we're going to get out of learn mode and then okay so i've got my c major scale i can play midi keyboard and when i hit the black notes nothing happens that's exactly what i want see how simple that is now uh, if you know anything about music theory you also know that when you set this up for the key of c um, you're, you're actually already set up for the key of A minor because the, the relative minor of uh, C is A minor. Okay, so instead of start, starting the scale on C, you start the scale on A and then play seven notes up and you've got your A minor scale. So you've got the, basically when you do this once, you've got all your major and minor scales that you can play from just using the white notes of the the um, your keyboard really cool and you can transport pose to other keys by simply going up a half step with this transpose function here so if i wanted to play c major excuse me c sharp 
major, then I would just go up a half step and then I grab my C sharp major scale. I'm gonna go up to D, D major. Okay, so you've got all your major scales, and of course, like I mentioned before, you've got the relative minors of all those as well. So it's like really powerful. So when you set this up yourself, you're gonna wanna go all the way up as far as you can go so that you've got full coverage. I kind of I did that already with C major here, and so I went all the way up. Go back down. All right. all right, so I got it covered, you know. to play minor I just that's my A minor so I can play you know whatever key I want and then just transpose it as I need now you can set this up for all kinds of other scales too I got this for harmonic minor so now I would start with C major and then save this as a preset and then you know open up your preset and then tweak it for the other scales and so I can convert this into a uh, you know a um, harmonic minor scale go to learn more learn mode and then lower you know the, the, the associated note the proper note to make it a harmonic minor scale you may need to look up the, the construction of the scales to get everything correct but once you do it once you I mean you're done you're done it's really cool and then you know I got melodic minor here um, and then you don't have to do just you can do arpeggios too so I got a major triad here So now that we've learned the basics of using this method, I want to explain something very important when you're recording. Let's say I'm using the method and I want to record a melody in the key of D major, for example. I'm got this, I've got this set up, so I'd pull up my scales, you know, I got A natural minor, C major. Okay. But I want to record this melody in the key of D. So what am I going to do? I'm going to transpose it two semitones up, right? Okay, so now everything I play is going to be in D major instead of C major. Everything's good so far. All right, so let's just get, let's just record something real quick and see what happens. play it back okay everything's great now let's say uh, we're ready to go and we don't really need quarter anymore right so we turn quarter off or didn't or remove it from the track and then what happens when we play back well what happened right when we're back to the key of C that is because the quarter in studio one is actually it's recording what notes you actually are playing. In this case, you're actually playing the white, only the white notes of the, the piano. So it's, it, that's all it's gonna capture, okay? So you need to do one extra step to make sure that there, all your MIDI you know, stays in the key of D as you intended, okay? So what you're gonna do um, after you record, you're going to right click your clip here, and then go to instrument parts and then go to render instrument tracks okay 
and then boom you see what happened it pushed everything up to the proper uh, key which is the key of D and then now we're back on the key of D everything's good okay so that's something that's very important something to remember when you're uh, transposing uh, to make sure that uh, you know everything stays in the key that you that you intend okay so I hope that you learned something and you know I hope this improves your workflow if you got any questions or comments please leave them below please be sure to like and subscribe I've got more videos on the way um, like I mentioned in my past in my other video I'm gonna be doing more than just studio one but uh, I've got some other DAWs that I work with like FL and um, and Bitwig as well. So, uh, yep. So I'll catch you in the next video.